Hey guys, Sean here, coming at you today with a uh, quest guide of the Dwarf Cannon quest, uh, which can be started in the Dwarf Camp, which is uh, northwest of the Fishing Guild, uh, which is north of Ardy. Uh, to do this quest, you're going to need a hammer, uh, which can be found over here, I'm pretty sure, uh, as well as also some teleports to Falador, uh, Camelot, and Ardone would be quite useful. Uh, however, they're not uh, required. Uh, to start the quest, you're going to want to speak to Captain Logoth, who is over here and appears to be standing on a flag. I'm not sure how that's happening. <laughs> uh, but yes, so you you uh, will want to join the Honorary Black Guard and say so you'll be honoured to join. And uh, he'll give you some railings and you need to go along this uh, red fence here, where well, it's red on the minimap anyway, and you want to be looking for railings that uh, are broken. So to do this you're going to want to inspect every railing. I don't know why. I don't think I can inspect that one. Uh so let's okay, so that this one needs to be replaced. So yeah, I was trying to repair it. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so it it can take a while for you to uh do this and you can get uh damaged slightly. So if you are um a lower level, you might want to bring just a smidgen of food, not so much. Uh but yeah, so after a while, <laughs> you will have fixed it like that, and uh, you want to be checking all of the railings. It's fairly obvious which ones need fixing usually by just looking at them, because they seem to be kind of uh, bent slightly at the bottom. Uh, see that one just there, that one uh, is uh, showing it to be slightly bent. So you'll want to be uh, fixing that one. Don't know why it needs to tell me it needs replacing every time I try and fix it, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, I think if you get damaged, you'll want to be starting again. Uh, yeah. So is that a hammer in there? Yeah. So if you do, if you didn't bring a hammer, uh, you can get one over there in that little house. Uh, so let's keep moving and see if we can find another one that needs fixing. That one looks slightly bent. I didn't think it was. Oh, here's another one that definitely needs fixing. So we'll fix this one. So you need to replace all six. There should be six along this uh, this uh, fence. So try and find them all. That one looks bent as well. Yep. So we'll fix this one. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Okay, well I've cut myself so I need to restart. Uh yeah. So there we go, that's fixed now. So now we need to find another one. It's easier than inspecting all of them. That one looks bent as well, so I think we'll fix this one. There should be one more after this one. Is it gonna get fixed before I cut myself? Good. And where's the final one? Uh let's see. Oh there it is that one there. I'm not sure if it's the same for uh, everyone. Uh, it might be, I'm not sure. But um, just have a look along uh, all of the railing and if you can't find them perhaps they're the same for everyone. Uh, so once you have fixed the final one you will have, you will say to yourself that you've now fixed them all. Uh, at which point you want to be heading back to the commander, uh, Captain Norgoff. And uh, yeah. So now he's going to ask you to look for his comrades uh, which are going to be in the goblin area to the south so what you need to be doing at this point is heading up to this kind of boxed in area and heading up the ladder uh, and head up again and you will find a corpse which you want to take uh, so obviously his comrades have died unfortunately so we're going to want to be heading back down and informing Mr. Logoff of the news. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Hello. Hmm. Okay. So, we now need to look for their hideout uh, to look for another one of his comrades, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh no, a son. Uh, his son. Uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. But uh, you need to be going to the Goblin Cave, which is just 
uh, south of the uh, fishing guild. Uh, if you have done the one small favor quest, you will have already been to this place before. Uh, it is just southeast of the fishing guild. If you just go to the entrance, you'll find it. And uh, if you're a low level, that goblins may attack you, but they shouldn't hit too hard. I think they're only the level two variety. So uh, yeah, should have brought some energy potions. Uh, but here is the cave, just there, and you want to be heading uh, northwest. Uh, to a little uh, clearing at the end. Uh, what monsters are in here? Oh, okay, so they will attack you, but they are the level 2 variety. So you want to be careful with them, uh, just because they are attacking you. Uh, especially if you're a low level, like a level 3. Uh, I guess only some attack you, maybe? Possibly the blue ones, I would assume, because the other ones don't seem to want to attack me. Um, but anyway, so this is the room you want to be getting to, and uh, I think it's this crate. Yeah, here we are. So uh, you'll save him and he will run back home, at which point you'll want to be heading back to the commander, um, Captain Logoff, and uh, then going back and uh, telling him the news that, he's, uh, that his son's returned. So uh, yeah, I will be back in a sec and at which point I will uh, start the recording then so you don't have to watch me walk all the way back <laughs> without any run. So I'll see you in a sec. Alright so once you're back at the uh, dwarf uh, base, whatever you want to call it, you want to speak to Captain Logoff and inform him that I'm not going to try has uh, returned and uh, he will ask you to fix his multi cannon which is just there. Uh, so use his, use his kit on the cannon and uh, you'll want to be using this kind of hooked tool on the uh, spring. Uh, you'll want to be using the pliers on the safety switch and then the toothed tool on the gear which is somewhere... here we are, here. So once you've done all of those it will be fully functioning and uh, you'll want to speak to Captain Logoff once again. Uh, and uh, he'll have a look at it and uh, then he'll ask you to go uh, he doesn't know what ammo to put in it so he'll want you to visit his weapons developer which is in the other dwarf camp which is in Falador near the dwarven mine so uh, get to Falador however which way you want to I'm just going to teleport just because it's easiest and uh, you want to be heading to the um, the Edgeville side of the Dwarven Mine as opposed to going down the stairs uh, in East Falador. You can go that way, uh, it's just this way slightly quicker. Uh, yep, so there's the camp there. It's unfortunate that we don't have the little stairs there as, <laughs> as there are in EOC, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so we want to be heading up there, running out of run, and uh, speaking to a guy called Nulodian, uh, who is the ammo guy, the weapons advisor or whatever he's called and uh, yeah so I wish you didn't ru run out of run so quickly on this <laughs> oh well I need to train my agility although I've been training fishing at the moment uh, but anyway let us open this door this is where you'll find Lodian who is right there and uh, you'll tell him about the fact that he needs ammo and he'll give you an ammo mold at which point you'll want to be heading back to the dwarf camp uh, so there's no point me going all of that way just for you to watch me do it so I will uh, start recording again once I'm back at the camp see you in a sec alright so we're now back at the camp so you want to be speaking to Captain Logoff once again and uh, he will well you will give him the um, the ammo mold and the notes and uh, you'll jokingly ask if you can have a cannon which uh, he won't give you uh, but uh, he will now give you some grafting XP and you can now use the dwarf multi cannon so you will have completed the dwarf cannon quest and you'll be awarded one quest point 750 crafting XP and the ability to purchase and use the dwarf multi cannon uh, which you can purchase from Nulodian uh, as well as other players which is usually a better idea because it's cheaper uh, so now you can uh, do all of that stuff. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much all for this uh, this video. So until next time, I'll see you then, guys.